Grab your Yggdrasil tree root, Wargamers, because today we're going to review a skirmish set of rules suitable for Viking Age miniatures called Raven Feast. This is by the good guys over Little Wars TV who have decided they're going to save the hobby from a problem that I don't actually believe exists. But we're not going to get into that so much today. Um, probably wouldn't have reviewed these except it has Raven in the title and I'm a sucker for anything with a Raven in it. I have an affinity for Ravens. Um, and I wanted to talk to you about these rule set. I downloaded them. They just came out yesterday. I downloaded these and read through them real quick. Uh, they're very basic, just like it says on the tin. Uh, gorgeous artwork throughout if you're into that kind of thing. But just like it says, this is a beginner's guide to miniature wargaming. And if you're not a beginner, you're not going to find a whole lot here for you. That said, you may want to download a copy of this and add it to your arsenal because you may actually have a use for this. We'll get to that towards the end. Uh, I'm just going to scroll through. This is also by the good guys over at Wargame Soldier and Strategy Magazine. Uh, I've got a couple of back issues of this. Fantastic game. Uh, fantastic uh Magazine, that's the word I'm looking for. Hey, here's all the guys that worked on it. Uh, Guy Bowers, that's a familiar name to me. Huh, huh, he's worked, he's kind of an old stalwart. Got yourself a nice little map of, uh, you know, historical age of the uh, going a Viking and, you know, a little bit of historical stuff. Very, very pretty, but what about the game itself? Well, honestly, you could probably read through the rules at about the time it's going to take me to explain them to you. They are that basic. It's an I go, you go, roll for initiative, I go, you go, uh, every figure has a stat line, pretty basic, maybe four stats, here's what you need to roll to hit with your dude, here's what a guy that gets hit needs to roll to stay alive, some guys have a couple of wounds, there's morale, there's movement, and you're pretty much done. It has a uh, point by cost for the, for the figures, and uh, with some suggested kind of uh, what would you call it, army lists, for example. You can't have an army that's one leader and a whole bunch of berserkers. Well, I mean, actually, you can't. Hey, it's your table. <laughs> what, are the miniature wargaming cops going to come by and, and, like, break your fingers if you do that? Of course not. But, uh, you know, the, again, the, the guidance is for evenly matched forces, and you're probably going to want to follow that if you've never miniature wargame before or for your first few games, kind of get a feel for how it works. Um, you're rolling low in this game pretty much all the time. Um, you want to, your stats are anywhere from zero to five, so it's a D6 mechanic, roll under, uh, higher abilities are better, you're trying to roll beneath, it's a roll to hit, roll to save, and you're done. Maybe you got a couple of wounds. It's got very, it's very basic, very simple, very easy. It's very suitable for young children, uh, if you want to get into miniature wargaming, but you don't want to deal with anything complicated, uh, this is probably a great set of rules for you. The rules get a little bit complex when they add in the concept of shield walls. If you got a bunch of guys, they can stand next to each other, move, attack as a, as a unit. They get a little bump in their armor ability. However, they also have to move a lot slower. They can't change facing, etc. So, you know, it has it. You know, it, it adds just enough um, tactical decision making in your formations to to feel like you're making choices. But it doesn't complicate things so much that it slows the game down from what it is. Um, Raven Feast is not particularly innovative. There's nothing new that you haven't seen before if you've played a dozen games. Uh, however, you know, it, it bundles it all up into a nice, tidy little package that you could print up and hand off to a kid and say, here, go have fun with this. It's written probably at about a third or fourth degree reading level. If you're reading at a collegiate level, you know, if you're reading, if you're comfortable with High Guy Gaxian, then it's going to be, uh, you know, it, y y it's not going to challenge you in any way, shape, or form. This is not a challenging war game. That's not the point. Um, if you're looking for a challenge, you're going to need to look elsewhere. Uh, I hope this doesn't sound too dismissive. I don't want to sound dismissive. This game does exactly what it is intended to do. It's trying to dumb down the hobby in order to make the hobby appeal to uh, people who have limited intellectual abilities. Uh, for example, 
if you're a 5th edition Dungeons & Dragons gamer, you know, this might be a good way for you to kind of dip your toe into miniature wargaming, right? And what's great is they have a lot of other... It's free. They've got a lot of other freebies on their website. So if you're not particularly creative, again, you know, 5th edition D&D people, I'm talking to you, uh, you can grab this, and they'll do all of the inventing and all the creativity for you. So you can just, you know, pretend to be creative. That'll be nice for you. Um, the, the 44 pages, I think really if you are... Um, if you're a an experienced war gamer, this can be condensed down to into like two pages, actually probably one minimum, um, which again is not you know. So what are the other forty two pages? Which is not a, not a complaint. You know what are the other two forty two pages for? Well, there's lots of pretty pictures. Um, there's lots of, of big, bold typesetting, and then there's a lot of pages, we can kind of scroll down here a little bit more, like I said, lot, see pictures, it's got lots of pretty pictures, here's how you measure things with a ruler, in case you've never used a ruler before, isn't that nice? Um, uh, more pretty pictures, and then here's, so here's an example of your stat line, uh, you know, move, like I said, it's got, uh, basically five or six stats, a couple of traits to complicate things a little bit more, which is fine, um, Aside from the rules, what are the other, like, 42 pages? Uh, well, like I said, art, typesetting, uh, historical background, which is nice. Uh, definitions for things that you might not have heard, like Huskerl and, and Hirdman, and uh, other Viking-appropriate things. Who's my Bondi, my Thrall, Bondi arch, etc. There's a lot of, here's how you miniature war game, right? There's a couple of scenarios. Again, you don't have to make your own scenarios. They do it for you. You don't have to do anything on your own. Uh, it's all right here in one nice, tidy little package. But you also have, you know, how-to modeling. Uh, see, right? like I said, historical background, a little something from King Alfred the Great. Modeling, uh, crafting, how you put together train, all that stuff. So, fine introduction. I think it's great if you have small children who are constantly hassling you. Hey, Uncle Wargaming, I want to play with the toy soldiers. Oh, good, good. Here's Here's how you do it. You can walk them through very easy. Now we can take the pan out of something we, we talked about at the very beginning of the video. If you are a miniature war gamer, you know, if you're an old grognar and you've been doing this for a long time, would you still want this? The answer is maybe. I actually can think of a use for this, even for long time war gamers. Because this is so streamlined, uh, because it's so basic and fundamental, and because it has just just that slight bit of flavor. I think this would be a perfect convention game. You know, if they ever allow us to have miniature wargaming conventions again, and you want to be able to run a table with up to 10 guys, and you want to be able to teach them how to play a miniature war game in, like, five minutes, you know, 10 minutes if they've never played a miniature war game before, 45 minutes if they're 5th edition D&D guys, you can throw this down and, and set up to a couple of you know, scenario objectives for your guys, and it largely runs itself. So, uh, I, I'm not being entirely dismissive of this rule set. I think it's a fine rule set. It's robust. Um, I've got the experience to tell you, it's going to play great at the table. You've probably already seen the Little Wars TV guys video on it, which shows, you know, I mean, it's like a 20 minute video that talks a lot about history and a lot about the game and about their plans. And you actually get to see like two minutes of the game being played, which so, I mean, it works. I'm confident that this has been play-tested, that it's robust, that it would be great for miniature convention. I'll actually go ahead and throw some miniatures on the table and, and play a little, you know, a small, I don't know, 250-point battle. I, I, I haven't looked at it in enough detail to know how, how big the battle will be. But I'll give you a, a video of a turn-by-turn, blow-by-blow example of this game, and it's not going to take very long. So... That those are really the two audiences for this game. Um, are are you a complete noob that needs to have your hand held through the whole process? Not judging. If you are, this would be good for you. Are you planning a convention game where you want to want to run a whole lot of guys that just look? I just want to get some figures on the table and roll some dice. And, you know, I've got, well, of course, we're not allowed to have conventions right now, but maybe you've got, like, one of those wargaming speakeasies where you have to do the, you know, or or, or, or you got to say, uh, Don Feather sent me, in order to say the password to get in to do miniature wargaming. Maybe, like, you're in California and that's how you do it. 
Raven Feast will do everything that you need to do, and it won't really challenge it. Maybe you're like three sheets to the wind, and, and you're, it's not safe to drive, but you still want to mention Wargaming. This should be great. Go ahead, download it. Like I said, um, if you're reading at a collegiate level, you can read this in about the amount of time it's taken me to present this review to you. Divine rule set does what it needs to do. It gets in, it gets out, and it looks like they're going to be expanding on it uh, in the future. So, hey, uh, going to give it a kind of thumbs. Well, you decide. Here, I'm going to go both ways, up, down, you know, whatever you think. If that sounds, if you're the kind of person who's into this kind of thing, you're going to love this thing. That's all I've got for you today. From sunny paradise. Well, my windshield wipers don't work, so uh, I'm praying for you. <laughs>